My name is Julie Dmitrievich and I'm a researcher at OceanWise. And while I'm here, I'm studying how blue mussels eat microplastics that are floating around in the ocean and what sort of health effects this may have. Mussels are super important. They're what we call ecosystem engineers, which basically means that they create a complex 3D habitat um, when they settle on rocks. Blue mussels are filter feeders, which means they're constantly bringing seawater into their bodies, filtering through what's there, trying to find their lunch, their breakfast, their dinner. And basically they can filter up to hundreds of liters of water a day. So this is a very beautiful image of what it's like for a mussel to kind of live its everyday life. All the little dots that we can see floating around are what we call plankton. And what the mussel does is it kind of creates its own little current and brings food particles into its body through the in-current siphon. It's not able to say, oh, I want to bring you inside and not this other particle. It'll bring anything that's present. So that could include microplastics. You can see tiny orange dots, which is bits of paprika that we added to kind of visualize food that would be entering the mussel. You can see it touching the gill surface. And this is actually the gill acting like a conveyor belt, bringing food towards the mouth. We have these kind of flaps that are near the mouth's surface, and these are called palps. And these are used to sort food out and allow the mussel to decide what it would like to eat and what it would like to reject. So when you have an individual that's living for many months or even years in a coastal environment, and you take it out of the water and you assess it, you can see a sort of cumulative um, amount of pollution that has built up over time. So if blue mussels are eating microplastics and then humans are eating blue mussels, how many microplastics are humans eating? We want to understand how much plastic is in mussels right now because we know that plastic pollution is increasing. It has been increasing for many decades and it doesn't look like it's going to slow down. We are polluting our oceans and we are the people that need to understand what we're doing in order to uh, move forward in creating solutions. 